Hi, my name is Lisa Erickson. I'm Senior Director of Product Management for Cloud Data Protection here at Veritas. Today I'm joined by Vamshi from Microsoft. My name is Vamshi Kamneni. I'm a Group Product Manager in Azure Storage, responsible for our Azure Object Storage offerings. I know the last time we talked, we talked about our key use cases, backup to cloud, data protection in cloud, and, and resiliency across cloud and what we believe are important to customers and how we're delivering on those. Um, this time around, while those use cases are very important, we feel like we have really uh, progressed in what we're releasing in NetBackup 9.1 around helping our customers with cloud transformation, cloud protection, and cloud optimization, which are really kind of key tenants and pillars when how we think about what features and capabilities we're delivering for our customers uh, in cloud environments inside of NetBackup. In this release, we've really focused on in-cloud data protection, particularly around protection capabilities and the optimization of those. Um, we have seen a lot from our customers the importance of not just having a core set of capabilities across the data protection spectrum in cloud, but really around ease of use, optimizing the end-to-end -end experience, and ultimately that helps our customers achieve a better total cost of ownership both on the straight up cost aspect, as well as an operational efficiency aspect. Um, I wonder if that resonates with you, Vamshi, in terms of what you're seeing at Microsoft with customers. Yeah, thanks, Lisa. Yeah, it's great to see all the progress <clears throat> that's being made uh, by the Veritas team. Uh, and uh, you, you know, you're spot on. I think when we look at customers looking for data protection in the cloud, they care about a few things, right? You know, of course they care about data durability and data integrity. They wanna make sure that the data they protect is, is correctly protected and recoverable. Uh, they care about security, including ransomware protection and making sure that things are able to be recovered. And they care about doing all of these things at a really good TCO at a good cost point. Uh, and of course, you know, Veritas does a great job already with the durability and security pieces. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, it's, it's really great to see so this is an effort on uh, TCO optimization. And as you mentioned, I think a key sort of underlying, you know, principle for, for these capabilities is, is simplicity, right? It's really being able to deploy these principles at scale across environments that are thousands or tens of thousands of VMs and very different application workloads. And, uh, also being, you know, at that scale, you have to be able to automate. You have to really be able to kind of not just have a great user experience, but be able to, you know, script and automate those things in such a way that, you know, with a small IT staff, you can get a lot done in a larger organization. So I think, you know, we definitely see that demand from our customers and it's great to see Veritas innovating uh, on those areas. Yeah, thanks for validating that and sharing that with our customers. There's a lot of alignment and I think what we see from our customers. Um, and that's why the next few features, while there's lots of features in 9.1, the next few ones around what we've done here, uh, we have taken very much an Azure first approach. And I think that has a lot to do with the, the common expectations and needs we see out of our, our, our customer base. So I just want to take a minute and kind of highlight three of those capabilities and get your, your view on them. One of them we call cloud intelligent policies. But if you think about the value of those to our the value of that to our customers, it's really about automating protection, right? So I, if I'm protecting thousands of Azure VMs or tens of thousands, to go and manually have to add protection to each one of those would be extremely painful. So in this case, we've integrated with Azure Tags that tag is part of a net backup protection plan. And so any Azure VM with that tag automatically gets picked up and is then protected automatically by net backup. That's great to see, uh, Lisa. Uh, Azure resource tags uh, are a core part of how we have manageability and automation uh, on, on, on the Azure end for customers deploying workloads, whether it's uh, grouping production and, and dev test VMs or grouping kinds of application workloads. Uh, and to see sort of Net backup supporting that and, and having that built into net backups protection plans is awesome because it makes life easier for administrators uh, that can just use the same 
sort of taxonomy through the cycle from deploying their uh, workloads and upgrading them to protecting them and recovering them. Um, so great to see that support come online in 9.1. Thanks, Ramshi. I'm also really glad that we did it in more of an Azure native kind of way rather than inventing our own techniques. So I think that that's a great value of the partnership where we look to um, deliver these feature features in a more native Azure integrated methodology. Yeah, ab absolutely. It's it's great to see that, and 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 we love the partnership and being able to you know, jointly innovate together and have these seamless customer experiences and that real simplicity and end-to-end -end experience uh, between uh, Veritas and Microsoft. I think it's a huge value add uh, for our shared customers. The next capability I want to highlight, taking this a step further, is actually one of the most asked for capabilities that we have. And it's most asked for on the Azure platform. So even though we're a multi-cloud you know, support hundreds of different kinds of workloads. Um, we also took in Azure first on, on this one as well. And we uh, affectionately call this backup from snapshot, but that's such a simplistic way of saying something that's so meaningful, right? So within that backup cloud, we automate uh, the orchestration of snapshot protection. That's a, a very efficient way <clears throat> to quickly get your data and quickly recover your data. But in this release, what we've done in Azure and Azure Stack is allow our customers to then back up that snapshot via native integration into Azure APIs, dedupe it, and store it straight into NetBackup, right? So backup from snapshot. But on top of that, the optimization also comes from not only do you have deduped storage now for longer, uh, deduped images for longer term retention, right? I can now tie a policy to this as an administrator that basically says, and maybe I don't want to keep the higher cost snapshot around once it's ingested. All of this hands off automated through policy and net backup. So we believe that this also adds to operational efficiency and reducing the total cost of ownership for customers. It's great to see this. Uh, and as you know, uh, snapshots are always stored in a higher cost tier of storage that's faster because we're trying to minimize RTO for your most frequently restored uh, backups. But the ability to you know, move your you know, longer term backups into object storage, which is uh, lower cost uh, and, and, and be able to retain it for a longer period of time is key. And now the fact that you know, Veritas has made it so simple to just deploy a policy and have that entire transition from snapshot storage into Azure Hot Storage or Azure Cool Storage, or even for long-term compliance retention into the archive tier, where you can leave it for years or decades even, in some of our customers' cases, uh, is, is fantastic to see. It really reduces the burden of management uh, on, on administrators uh, and really dramatically improves TCO for organizations that are now able to do this with just a couple of clicks. Um, so fantastic to see that feature. Thanks, MC. We hope that one really delights our customers who've been asking for that. Um, and then the final one I want to mention is about the platform itself, right? So you can say, look, I have made my capabilities natively integrated. They scale, they're efficient, they're easy to use. But what about the platform that underpins this? So this last capability, again, an Azure first capability for net backup, is we've brought an auto scaling cloud client uh, into net backup. So this is pretty much a thin net backup client, and it is what is talking natively into Azure, uh, helps spin up the jobs, helps, uh, we were just talking about backup from snapshot, helps move uh, the images from the snapshots images from uh, disk over in, into NetBackup itself. So that client is now auto scaling. So as number of workloads protect, number of jobs increase, number of data movement increases, as an admin, I don't have to then go have to manually think about, do I have enough infrastructure underneath to support this? So we can automatically add virtual machines, automatically add containers, uh, that this client runs in um, and also scale them down as needed. Yeah, while well, this is a sort of a fundamental building block kind of capability, it's so awesome to see uh, NetBackup adopting these cloud 
uh, principles because it it's you know buried in the system in the Veritas system, but it's so fundamental to customer experience and cost and all of that. Uh, you know, the old way of sort of scaling up a server or having an administrator come in and add more backup infrastructure just doesn't work with the cloud and with the scale of the cloud and the workloads our customers are running there. Uh, so to have this kind of scale out, replace the scale up capabilities and have Veritas do this automatically is, is fantastic. Uh, so it completely removes a lot of complexity uh, from the traditional sort of backup enterprise, you know, a setup where you have all these large servers, you have sort of care and, t- you know, care for them and, and be very careful about planning upgrades and things like that. And, you know, the cloud doesn't work that way. You know, our, our customers spin up workloads, massive workloads that they need protection for, uh, you know, on, on a dime and being able to have uh, Veritas r- respond to that and also scale out uh, is, is fantastic. Uh, as you mentioned, it also has tremendous TCO benefits because you know Azure, like every other public cloud platform out there, builds by the second. And you know, building and sizing a backup infrastructure for just the small backup window you have every day uh, doesn't really make any sense, right? So being able to spin these up, do the backups, do the data movement, and then spin them down and not pay uh, extra money for those you know n hours of the day that you're not doing backups. Uh, is is again uh, a big big step forward in terms of TCO savings. I can't agree with you more, Vamshi, on what you said about the adoption of those cloud principles. I mean, I think customers, and they've they've told us this that the platforms that they're running uh, to support their infrastructure and services shouldn't be cost more than it is to actually protect uh, those applications and workloads. So, can't agree with you more on that. So with that, I think those are really the three kind of core capabilities that I really wanted to highlight, which was our cloud intelligent policies, backup from snapshot, and our auto scaling client in Azure. I hope our customers will take a look at NetBackup 9.1. I think we've brought a lot of value to both protection and optimization of enterprise data protection in the cloud. Yeah, it's great to see all the work that our teams are doing together, Lisa, and uh, and, and share all the good work that's coming out in 9.1. Uh, really a pleasure talking with you again uh, and, and love all the work that our companies are doing together. Thank you. Thank you again, Vamshi, for joining me today uh, and speaking to our joint customers. We really appreciate your partnership and the continued innovation that we're doing together.